So welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be breaking down Acts About Me by Mubad. I'll be showing you the sounds I use and how I came about the beats. So let me just play the song for a while so that you hear the feel and how it sounds. So this is the mastered version. So what I'll be using in the song is the unmixed and mastered version. So the song is on 112 BPM and the key is the key of A flat. Now the first thing I did for this song was to have a kick which was which sounded like this. Then the next thing was a shakers which sounded like this. Then I added another shakers which sounded like this. So the three together sounded this way. So the next thing I had there was the conga. And these congas were like three. So the first conga sounded like this. And the second conga sounded this way. And the third conga sounded this way. So the three sounds like this. So let me play it all together so you hear how it sounds. So the next thing I had there was the clap. So the clap was a basic clap that sounded this way. So together, they all sounded this way. At some point, the hi hat was introduced into the song, somewhere around here, the bridge, and it sounded this way. So everything sounds this way with the hi-hat. At the beginning of the song, there was a snare effect that came in and sounded like this. So with the snare effects, it sounds this way. There's this rose that this rule that came comes in. So the rose sounds this way. Again. So everything with the rule and snare effect sounds this way. So this main box was added to it and it sounds this way. So that was how it sounds. So that was that about that. So the next thing we had there was this rice that was used to introduce a song somewhere around this point. And it's the basic rice that sounds this way. So the song came in there, asks about me, asks about me after the snare effects and the first rice. So we had some other rise and clap effects here but they were basic that came in like this. Let me just say. So here yeah, I added a clap effect to support it. It was the same thing, but this sound was added to it. That's all, just to give it a fuller feel. So the last effects had the rise, clap effects, and a crash. 
and the crash sounded this way. So in context, they all sound this way before the box verse two. So the next thing was this second box that came in in the song after the interlude, during the interlude, and it sounds this way. So everything sounded this way, starting from the second box that came in in the interlude. So this box was not actually an audio sound. I did it from a sound. And this sound was OR from a hog M1. So that was the box sound I used. And I was just playing something very, very simple and basic. So this is what I was just playing of octave. So it sounds like this. So at the beginning of the song, I had this trumpet that came in here. Okay, let me zoom it up here. So at the beginning of the song, there was this trumpet that played, that sounded like this. That trumpet sound was from Cork Tritone, and the name is Jazz Trumpeta, Trumpeta. So that's the sound there. So after the trumpet, this choir voice came into play. And I made use of two choir sounds here. So the first one, let me go over the VST that was used. All right, so the first choir sound was this vocal less qui. Vocal less qui from Cog Tritone. And the second choir sound I made use of was from Kogem One, and the name is Choir itself. So you could check those sounds out. So you, with the first choir sound, it sounded this way. Okay, let me start from where the trumpet came in, and so you can hear the first choir sound, which was the vocalist from Cog Triton. The second choir sounds sound so similar also. Let's listen to it, which was from Kogem One Choir. So the two together sounded like this. part of this song was the sax and the sax was from Otto Melo Sax Lab. So I played the song from the beginning to the end so that um, you can get what the sax plays so you can take note of it. So let me just play it from the beginning. So you need to be patient to get it. <laughs> Oh, 
So let me go back to where this solo came in from. Let's play it there from there again, because it's not easy following up with it. So let's play this. A supporting sax, same sax, same voices came in to support, create a melody at some point. So let me just play that melody so you could take note of that. Then we'll move to other instruments. All right, so let's start from somewhere. So that's that about the old sax because the sax was a key part of the song. So the rest were kind of easy and straightforward. So let's move to the pad. So the first pad we had here was from analog pad two. Yeah, so that was analog pad two and it was just playing a basic chord in which I repeated all throughout the song. So Let's go through it, see it. So this is it, this is the first part, part low, because I was playing it at the lower of it. You see the way that part was giving that song body. So the next part I had was a pad I. And it was this soft pad from um, synth pad, um, synth pad from Kogem one also. So it sounded this way. You can see this, the first part was below and I already just moved this one and up octave and octave upward. So this is how it sounds together with the other part. <laughs> So you could hear that, that gave that, that nice vibe. So the next thing was this sub bass, and you know, I love this um, F3SOSC for my sub bass. 
All I do is to drop it by two octave and I'm good to go. So the bass or bass was just giving the song the body. So when the song came in here, So the next thing I had there was this bus uh, from Kogem one, and it's just the same bus one, and it sounded like this on its own. Okay, let me just show you the ID. Just playing the progression. Progression. So this is how it sounds. So this is how it sounds now with the synth pass. So another important part of the song on which I will play through is the log drum. And this log drum was from DS10. And this was the setting I actually used for this song in particular. So I'm going to be starting from where the log drums came in, then play it core to the end. <laughs> All right, so that's that about the log drum there. So another key part was the, there was this supporting log drum that played same thing, but it was dual with the same pass that I showed earlier on. So it came in here yeah, to support the sound. So let me just solo that out. So I added the two together at that point. So there was some strategic location it came in like that. And it also came in here around here also. So the next part was this guitar effects. And it was synth past three also. So it was just a basic melody that came like this. 
So I had a second melody like that. It was a kick bass, but the, both were played on the power octaves. So in the song, the sound is good. Then the last thing I had for this song was this bell sound. So the bell sound was this music boss here from Cog Triton. So the first bell sound came in, which was music boss, sounded like this. It repeated itself in the song. So, and the second bell, which was Celesta from Cog Triton. So the two sounded like this together. So in context with the song, let's just start it from there. So let's so see how it sounds. So that's the, that about the song. So I'll play it from the beginning to the end without the box so you could hear how the full instrumentation sounds. And that, that's the end of this tutorial. <laughs> Thank you.